All right, final shoot of the evening. I'm going to show you how to tie an Oysterman stopper, also called Ashley's stopper. Right there. That's what it looks like. And that's our little check. All right, let's talk about why you, this stopper is on the Essentials playlist. Because there are some pretty definitive reasons. Okay, now, uh, talking in general about stopper knots, for starters, the, the common one that people know is the overhand knot. Don't tie an overhand knot. See, um, this is paracord, so the breaking strength is 550 pounds. Now the breaking strength is 55 pounds. It's 10% of what it used to be because of the tight turns and the way that the knot applies stress back upon the thing. You don't even get that much cord, or that much <laughs> cord, volume out of the amount of cord that you're using. This is a tiny knot and it's all asymmetrical, so it's, it's thicker one way this way than it is this way. It has lots of problems. A much better knot uh, that you could use instead starts with a noose. If you don't know how to tie a noose, it is identical to a slipped overhand knot. So you start the way that you would start an overhand knot, but you slip. Only this would make a slip knot. You can tell because it draws out of the working end. This, on the other hand, would draw from the standing end. That is a no that's the difference between a slip knot and a noose. They are otherwise identical to one another. Okay, so you start with a noose here. And the advantage to the Hoisterman knot is that you're going to get the most volume out of the amount of line that you actually use. Okay, so you find the line that feeds our working end. That's this one. It is going in that direction. So we're going to keep it going in that direction and put it through the back of our little eye. And then we're going to draw that down. And if you've done it correctly, you'll notice a three-lobed structure right there on the bottom of the stopper knot itself. And it would be, it, when, it's, when it's all loaded and everything, it's pretty easy to wrench open because this working end does not tighten itself. You can pull up there to create a little bit of slack out of the working end, assuming you have, you know, it's not tightened all the way up to something that you passed it through. And then you can take that out relatively easily. If you're only going to learn one stopper knot, that is the stopper knot that you ought to learn, especially because of the horrible, horrible properties that that has. Or, and then if I can rag on, if I can rag on this for a little while longer, it's even worse than the figure eight because the figure eight, at least when you when you load it down, it is easier. Not easy, but easier to untie than this. When you have one of these that's been loaded down with, let's say, 40 pounds, um, good luck getting that out without cutting it. Although, if you do happen to cut it, you might want to use a bend knot to join the two lines that you have free now. So, um, the bend knot that I recommend out of my Essentials playlist is a modified version of the sheet bend. You can watch the very, very long video right there, or you can come back over here to look at our Essentials playlist, the rapid fire video, and see it. From memory, it's the third video, or it's the third knot that we cover in that video, but uh, it would be easier on you if you were to just follow that link through and, and find out for yourself. All right, um, that's it for now. Um, 
If you liked my videos and you want to see more of them, you can give me a like, thumbs up, upvote, however, however you want to phrase that, um, to raise my ranking in search results, or you could share me around to friends, more subscribers, and more views is good for me. You could uh, subscribe yourself. There's a little subscription button right there. Or you could visit my shop where I have things like, hang on, I'm run, I wanna do a different one in every video. Things like this right here, this nice square laced uh, rap, rapid deployment piece. So I, I could just grab that button and yank on it and it would fall apart completely. Unravel. You get you get the point. These and many many more in many more sizes are to be had in my shop, along with examples of belts. And uh, my yeah, there's a lot of tools on my belt, so I'm not going to take that off to show you right now. But um, there should be a picture somewhere. There we go. yeah yeah there we go. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you very much for watching.